Hello friends welcome back. Today we are going to learn how to create an 3D animated banner in Figma. So stay tuned. Nowadays, websites have evolved so much. That animations have become an essential part of the overall experience. Let's get started. I have added our today's task. So the task is to create 3D animated banner for blockchain platform. I've also included the required content for the banner, which I generated with the help of AI to ensure it's relevant and aligned with the theme. These are the colors that we are going to use. As we are only designing banner, I have added only two colors. But when you work on whole website, multiple shades are required. I am using purple as a primary and blue as a secondary color. Also, I have added two additional shades of both colors. In assets, we have logo and some images. Let's begin with our 3D animated banner. I have added desktop frame in our artboard. First, I am adding column grid to frame. Since we are working on desktop frame, I am adding standard 12 column grid. And we'll keep margin 60 and gutter 20. Grid will help us to keep our design properly aligned. Now I am adding background color to our banner. I am selecting it from the color shades that we have. Since the banner is for a blockchain platform, I am going with a dark theme to create a futuristic and tech-savvy look and feel. I am pasting the color shades near the frame to make it easier to copy and apply them. For the background, I have chosen a dark purple shade to maintain the futuristic blockchain theme. Now, I am adding a rectangle shape to the frame to introduce a layered effect making the banner stand out from typical designs. I am carefully aligning the shape to ensure it looks visually balanced. To create contrast, I am filling the shape with a medium purple color that differentiates it from the background. I'm making slight adjustments to the shape using the pen tool, selecting points and dragging them to refine the form as needed. I've created a space in the top right corner to place the button, and another space in the bottom left corner to add some content later. The shape is now ready. Next. I am starting to add the banner elements one by one. First, I am copying the logo and placing it in the top left corner of the banner for clear brand visibility and proper visual hierarchy. Now I am adding the navigation options beside the logo. I am using the railway font with a 16 pixel text size to keep it clean and modern. After adding multiple navigation items relevant to our banner, I am selecting all of them and applying auto layout, setting the spacing between each option to 32 pixel for a balanced look. I am also aligning the navigation perfectly with the logo to maintain a consistent visual rhythm.
Next, I'm adding the headline text. For this, I'm setting the font size to 48px and the font weight to bold, helping it stand out as the primary focus of the banner. I'm copying the headline from our prepared content and aligning it with the other elements. I've kept the headline in two lines to ensure there's enough space on the right side for the visual or 3D animation element we'll add later. In the headline, I want to highlight the phrase, next dimension, so I'm selecting that portion and changing its font to Playfair display with a bold italic style. To make it stand out even more, I'm applying a blue color shade, which contrasts nicely with the dark theme and gives a futuristic feel. Next, I'm adding the subtext. Copying it from the prepared content. I'm setting the font size to 20 pixel and reducing its opacity to 70% to create a softer visual hierarchy under the headline. After that, I'm adding the primary button. Giving it adequate side and top padding for a balanced look and applying the primary purple color to maintain consistency with the theme. Finally, I'm adding a secondary button beside it and removing its background color to create a subtle contrast between the two buttons while keeping the overall design cohesive. Now I'm adding the Contact Us button in the top right space that we created earlier by adjusting the shape. I'm slightly reducing the stroke opacity to give it a clean and subtle look that blends well with the banner's dark theme. Next, I'm adding more content in the bottom left area, showcasing the number of users currently using the platform.
I'm placing the user images that I had already prepared and displaying the active user count beside them to build social proof and credibility. We are now halfway done with the banner. Moving on to the background enhancement, I'm adding a gradient effect to give it more depth. I'm creating a circular gradient using the primary color and applying a layer blur effect for a soft glow. Since I want this gradient visible only within the rectangular shape I created earlier, I'll need to mask it. Select the rectangular shape and duplicate it. Place the gradient over the duplicate. Select both the gradient and the duplicate shape, then right-click and choose Use as Mask. I'm adjusting the size and placement of the gradient to achieve better visual balance. Next. I'm adding an additional blue tone gradient by duplicating the existing one and modifying its color. Both gradients have been given reduced opacity to create a subtle and cohesive feel. To further enhance the composition, I've added another purple gradient behind the main content. Now, the banner appears well aligned and visually balanced, the colors complement each other nicely, and the background contrasts effectively with the foreground elements. The gradients add depth and a dynamic touch to the overall design. The only remaining step is to incorporate the animated 3D visual. Now, let's work on adding our 3D animation. First, go to the Spline website and click on Get Started. In the left panel, select the Community section, you'll find a variety of 3D visuals created by different artists. In the search bar, type Cube and Ball. You'll see the 3D visual we'll be using for our banner. Click on it to open the design, it's a beautiful visual created by the talented artist Havelad, and it's free to use, credits to the creator. Next, click on the Remix button. This will open the editable file for the visual. We don't need to make any changes here. Simply click on the Export button. A panel will appear. Select the Play Settings option. Under this section, you'll find the BG Color setting. Click on the Hide tab to make the background transparent. Then, scroll down and click on Update Public URL. Once that's done, go to the Overview tab and click on Copy Embed. This will copy the embed code for the 3D visual that we can now use in our banner. Add a rectangle shape inside our frame. 
Remove the fill color from the rectangle. Next, select the rectangle. Go to the plugin section and search for the Anima plugin. Once you find it, open the plugin, you'll see a login option. Go ahead and log in to your account. After logging in, you'll see several options. Select the embed code option at the bottom. Here, paste the embed code we copied earlier from Spline. If you missed that step, let me quickly show it again. Just copy the code from Spline and paste it here. Then click Save. Now, click on Preview and a new window will open. You can see our interactive 3D animation is ready. It looks great, smooth, fully interactive, and perfectly integrated into our design. You can also adjust the frame size to get a better view. And that's it. This is how easily you can create an interactive 3D animation using Figma and Spline, no complications, just a simple and effective process. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more design tutorials like this.